The boys are back in town. Today, we're going to take a look at The Boys Dear Becky by Garth Ennis hardcover. It has a 200 page count and the cover price of $29.99. Let's get into this hardcover review. Do me a favor and hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. It really helps the channel grow. And leave a comment down below about this review. It'll get yourself entered in the giveaway. Today we got the boys Dear Becky hardcover. On the back of the cover here, you have a little introduction to what's included in the story. This is 12 years after the events of the boys. And for cover art, you get this beautiful image from Derek Robertson of Becky herself. And we'll check out the uh, inside flaps here on the left-hand side. A couple of reviews about this Dear Becky story. And on the right-hand side, the creators that are involved with this book. You get the same image from the dust jacket on the cover here, but in the black and gray, and it's kind of glossy. And then you get actually on the back, which I thought was cool, little nod is a uh, Butcher and Terror there. Because they're a big part of what this story includes. This book does have glued binding, and it is awfully tight, so you're going to want to give it a good stretch before you give it a read. And just to note that this isn't an oversized hardcover. It's about the size of a trade paperback. So before we get into this book anymore, let's hear about our sponsor quick. I want to give a quick shout out to our sponsor, Organic Priced Books, the best place to get your omnibus and other collected editions. Super fast shipping, bulletproof packaging, and amazing customer service. Use promo code DROCK to get $2 off your purchase at OrganicPriceBooks.com. Join the OPB family today. This book does include the whole miniseries of The Boys Dear Becky, issues 1 through 8, that came out June through November of 2020. You get the creators listed here, writer Garth Ennis, obviously, and then you get artist Russ Braun and colorist Tony Avina, and you get covers from Derek Robertson. And after that, you get a little introduction from the uh, writer and producer of The Boys television show on Amazon Prime. The issues start out on days of the week, so it'll start with Saturday on issue 1, and then it'll end on issue 7 with Friday, and then after that will be the last issue of Epilogue January. Issue 1 starts out, and you have Huey. He's back, and he is uh, speaking with his friend Bobby that was in the Highland Laddie issues that were also in The Boys. And they're, like, talking about being woke, and Huey says it's just white folk inventing ways to feel like they're making a difference. So it's kind of funny that they talk about wokeness and stuff like that in this, so because back when The Boys came out in 2006, that wasn't really a thing, so... You can definitely tell that there's been a period of time that has passed since the uh, last issue of The Boys. I mean, they talk about Trump in this a little bit, and they also talk about the coronavirus. But uh, these issues kind of serve as a prequel and a sequel to the events of The Boys' original run. So the sequel events happen 12 years after the final issues of The Boys. After everything that went down in the end of The Boys, at this time 12 years later, nobody really wants Soup's back or anything to do with them in this storyline as well. Huey's kind of just living his life with Annie January at this point in time, but he ends up receiving a package that contains Becky, Billy Butcher's deceased wife's diary. Now this diary contains entries from Billy Butcher, kind of explaining the things that he hated about Soup's and, and leading up to what he was planning with uh, taking out all the Soup's in the end, and even a bit about like the fail safe plan that he had set up so throughout these issues Huey dives deeper into who sent him this diary because he doesn't know who sent him this book so he'll try and figure out who sent him this book from Becky and he'll also kind of reminisce and read more about situations that have happened in the past you'll get a storyline with the original boys team with Mallory still there and it involves a couple different superhero groups you get this team of Soup's The Scorchers, which is made up of Sex Vicar, Teen Temptress, Poncing Poof, Black Thug, and Looney Lefty. And it's a, a Soup squad comprised of edgier PR-driven heroes and possibly like a parody of the New Warriors. They are the first Soup team funded by Vaught's Media Corp division. And this man, Julian Baxter Pugh, is currently the head of the Media Corp division. After doing some surveillance, the boys end up finding out that there's possible catastrophic rift inside of Vault and they aim to exploit it between this Media Corp division. And that's where you'll get introduced to this other character who's kind of a ripoff of Thor, named Vicor. And uh, Butcher ends up catching him like fucking some lady at uh, Vicor's wife's funeral. So after burning his face off and shit in a crematorium at the funeral home, he ends up really just blackmailing this Vicor dude to give him information. And it comes about that actually Stormfront is Vicor's father, and he has a bunch of these other kids too. Huey gets deeper and deeper into this diary and learns more about this Scorcher group and uh, Vicor and this uh, Julian Baxter Pugh character. And uh, Annie ends up actually finding the diary and she confronts him about it and basically tells him that he needs to find out who sent this diary. 
Throughout this book, there is some cool moments too with Becky and Butcher kind of in their relationship and how Butcher's kind of just afraid that like every, all the trauma that he grew up with is really just affecting him in this like strange way, which obviously did lead to him just losing his fucking shit eventually in the end. And as Huey reads the book too, he kind of feels the same way. He feels like maybe because he was involved with everybody and doing all these things with the boys that he's also a bad person. So it's, it's really, uh, there's some emotional parts in here and then it ends up just leading to Billy butcher just chopping off all the heads of the scorcher people with an axe which is uh, on some real boy shit right there and then it ends with this epilogue january and you see Stillwell; he's just like living on an island somewhere because of all the events that have happened you meet kessler again because uh he was trying to find out who sent this book and at the end of the day he ends up going to the ex-director of the cia rayner and she is actually the one that sent huey this diary she expected the book would trigger huey in some kind of way but i don't know the end kind of falls flat like annie january and huey they end up getting married and he kind of just tosses the diary into the ocean in scotland to be honest i think the story fell kind of flat and it was a bit of a chore to get through and it's only eight issues definitely a disappointment let me know what you think about it down in the comments and thanks for watching. When we hit 1,000 subscribers, we are giving away Thor by Walter Simonson, Omnibus, and a Mystery Slab. All you gotta do to get yourself entered in the giveaway is be subscribed to the channel, like and comment on a video where I mentioned this giveaway. When we hit 1,000 subs, I'll use a random comment generator to announce the winner. Good luck.